welcome to the video guys uh today i am going to be one of the things is uh putting the spark plugs on this engine so these are the uh plugs that are going in it uh, they do look a little bit different than your normal typical ford spark plugs usually the regular uh ford well the step back on the factory 67s they take a really really big spark plug i mean i think you need like a three quarter inch or I think it's three quarter inch, but it's, you know, it's a big, big, wide spark plug. Um, that's the original 289 engine. Uh, any other Ford, uh, this engine is the high output 5.0 or uh, 302. So it will take something similar, but it's going to have a tapered uh, end here on the plug. Uh, I think the threads might be a little bit smaller or shorter. Um, this one, since I put the Elebrock uh, performance heads on there, these are the performer... I don't know what they are, but Elebrock Performer Performer heads, uh, they call for these type of plugs. So they have the uh, kind of like a, a seal um, washer on the plug. And so the number they recommended was, I think, uh, maybe a champion, but I cross-referenced to this NGK, which is the uh, BKR6EGP. Uh, it's what's going in there today. So I'm going to get these in here. So... I'm going to start doing the body work here. So I already started with this little corner. I'm going to put putty pretty much everywhere. The uh, bundle. This is what I'm using today. Uh, it's just a 3M uh, lightweight body filler. Uh, part number 5801. And so I'm just going to be mixing it. And just pretty much start going around the car. Um, you know, everywhere that I put the body kit to the body. Just pretty much... Filling it in and then there's going to be a lot of sanding, um, but I don't want any of that dust to get inside the cylinder since I took the uh, little caps off the heads. So I'm just going to throw these in there real quick and then get started on that. So stay tuned. spark plugs in there um did have a little bit of trouble on the second plug on this side here i think there might have been something on the threads on the head um i checked a few times just to make sure i wasn't cross threading it or anything but uh i don't know if there's just something in the threads uh, it was just going in a little bit hard and i didn't want to just torque it in because you know didn't want to mess up the head or anything um all the other ones went in super easy with my hand this one it just stop but um, i double check make sure you know i was going straight i tried a different plug and everything um, i did get it in there at the end um, it just went in a little bit hard i think once now that it's in all the way um you know once i get out it's the threads didn't look messed up or anything so i'm not sure what was going on but that did take a little bit longer than the other ones but those are in so no dust should get in there now um, i'm just gonna start and you know, start putting the uh, body filler all around the body.
after this is uh, already applied the body filler. Uh, this is dry now, pretty pretty hard. Uh, I try to fill most of the you know the holes I did when I was mounting this. Uh, I did use body panel adhesive to pull or glue these to the car, and I had drilled or uh, put some screws to set it while it dried. So I covered those. Um, this is just pretty much to smooth out the edge, and it it doesn't look that great. But um, now I'm gonna do all the sanding everywhere to pretty much shape it, get it as smooth as possible. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing that now. And then more than likely, once I sand, uh, there's gonna be spots that I'm gonna have to apply more. So we'll go back and probably apply a little bit more and then do sanding again. So it, it's it's quite a few steps, you know. Uh, if you get really good with body filler, you could probably do it all in one. You know, apply enough or apply smooth enough where you sand it and you're good, but uh, you know, I I'm uh, I haven't been doing this too much, and actually, I just realized I forgot to put some here, so I'll do that as well. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna start sanding, and then probably at the end, since I have to do body filler around other areas, I'll do this this spot here as well. This is about uh, an hour, hour and a half of sanding. Uh, I still need to finish up here, the bottom, and obviously the other side, but uh, I still do need to hit it a little bit more. Um, I just ran out of time for today, but uh, as you can see here, 
it's well, it's hard to see on the camera, but it's, it's pretty decently smooth. There's a few low spots in here. Um, I'm using a block, like you saw me on the saw there on the video. When you use a block, uh, it's harder because you know, like you can see here, this were high spots, so it's gonna sand flat. And it's gonna take longer to sand because it's gonna sand here first and it's not gonna start sanding here until this is all the way down. And so, you know, it's really tempting to just use your hand and, and sand it because then you're just gonna hit, you know, whichever spot you're pushing on. But then once you're all done and you paint the car, it's not gonna look as straight. You're gonna see a little bit kind of like a waviness in there. Uh, I'm not saying that this car is not gonna have any waves on the paint, but the more I use the block to sand, the straighter it's gonna be at the end, so it's gonna look better. Um, so that's okay, I mean, it just takes longer, but uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, obviously some of the, like here on the contours where it's kind of rounded, I do have some rounded blocks, but some of this, I mean, you, you can hit it by hand because there's not a block that exactly hits it right, but it's pretty good. Um, I probably have to do a couple of spots here where there's some little, kind of like little holes. Uh, I'll probably hit it up with I'm doing 80 grit, so I'll probably go to like a 220 um, before I, you know, pretty much go back and do a little bit more putty just to make sure that everything is smoother and, you know, I only putty whatever I necessarily have to. So, um, like here, the contour of the car, it's, it, it had this kind of line here. And so, you know, it kind of matches this. I might have to do a little bit more here so it kind of matches it better, but... Um, not too bad, um, you know, this seam, it's pretty good. <clears throat> and then this is the front area. Again, uh, you know, the the wheel arch looks pretty good. I might have to just, you know, kind of go out right on the corner right here um, a little bit more so you can kind of see where it's a little wavy. Um, so if I just take my time and kind of even it out, <clears throat> whatever slower, I can always go back and add a little bit more body filler, but... Not too bad, I'm gonna have to add more here. <clears throat> Excuse me, just because uh, like here it's pretty flat, which looks better. Um, this one has a contour where it had kind of like a dip, but I, I think it looks better flat anyway. So I'll add a little bit more here. And then looks like here is gonna need a little bit more just because there's a couple of spots, but overall not too bad. Uh, I'm not even probably gonna worry today since I ran a time about the other side, but once I send the other side, I'll, I'll put more on the other side. But anyways, uh, this is that block I'm using and you can buy these individually from 3M. There's the part number on that one, uh, 05686. <clears throat> if you go to a paint store, they usually sell the whole kit like this. Uh, there are over a hundred bucks though, but if you are going to be doing a few projects or something, I mean, it is worth it. If not, uh, you can use like a piece of wood that's, you know, flat. Um, they do sell some that are blocks. They're kind of like sponges at the parts store, but, you know, those contour a little bit more. These are pretty flat, so. Um, but there's the different shapes, you know, round, like a wedge, you know, a skinny one, things like that. So, um, other than that, uh, we'll go ahead and keep sanding here and you know, keep going at it. <clears throat> 